What is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. Let's get into Jay Cinco and Deshay. The other day, I reported that Jay and Bella had broke up and he was going to link back up with Deshay. Well, since then, him and Deshay has been linking back up. You guys know supporters are always going to be asking questions and wondering why are they so close, especially knowing that Deshay is Brooklyn's brother. The other day, they were on a live stream with Tony and they answered the question and this is what they had to say. T.O. thing, like, with him being her brother, like, somebody asked me, like, oh, that was weird. But I be forgetting, like, the connection. I be forgetting the connection, you feel me? Because, like, Deshay, when we was, me, me and her was in a relationship and we, me and her went through real shit, I'd come to Deshay's crib, you feel me? He used to smoke, yeah. so I'd come to his house, we'd smoke five, six months together, like, you feel me? When we'd break up, i still hang with Deshay, you feel me? Like, you know, being doing content hard sometimes, you feel so me? So you already like, developed your own relationship. I developed yeah. a separate relationship and with people him. people think so it's that's like, weird too. Yeah, but right. it's like, at the end of the day, I don't... They think that's weird on his part or your part? They think it's weird on his part, part but it's like... We but don't, why we do, do y'all think it's not? No, because we, we don't even think really about it. This is my dog, though. Yeah, like... But I swear to God, when we're together, bro, like... Maybe that's the female thing, about. We don't talk about, no, like, you know, I love my sister, but we don't talk about my sister. Yeah, like, we that shit never... I swear to God, that I promise on everything I love. That shit never comes up. But it's kind of like when people always be like, it's always a little thing like, bro, how you hanging with the ex, brother? How you hanging with the ex, like your sister's ex? It just be like, bro, like this is really my brother on some shit. Like, you know, I feel like God puts people on shit for different reasons, just shit, whatever. Like this nigga will come to me, like whenever arguments will happen, she'll come to my crib and tell me like, yo, like this is happening. This happened. I'll give this nigga real advice. Like, no, nah, like, nah, like real shit. Like, like real even, shit. If, even when it was times like, bro, if, if, if I needed to leave my situation, like if shit got bad or something, like, you know, I go both ways, you feel me? But like. Yeah, he didn't tell me before. Like, man, if you feel like this, then you should just leave. You yeah, feel me? Shit. Like, he, he ain't sticking up like for you feel me. Like, he ain't sticking up for me. He just be a hundred. The shade always gonna be a hundred because the shade don't care. Like, he yeah. just like he has some shit. Like, I could give a fuck less about your relationship. No, you know? no, and some real so shit. Be like, you, you feel me? He don't even like when niggas come in. So when they come to him about it, he gonna give you the real. You feel me? And yeah. then, like even like just on a deeper level, when my best friend passed. He bought me, you feel me? They they went half on a chain. They bought me a chain. I, I slept at his crib for like two weeks. You feel me? Like it's like a deeper yeah. thing. You feel me? Like he was there when I really needed him a lot. You feel yeah. me? Bella did take to her TikTok and responded to someone's comment. Someone commented and stated, "Ah, oh, I'm so mad y'all broke up. Y'all let the haters get to y'all. Y'all was finna stunt this year." Now Bella responded and said, "The internet didn't break us up. Just wasn't the right time. Thank you for the love. Stay blessed." A lot of people are speculating that they broke up due to the internet. That's what Jay Cinco was basically saying that, you know, it was just a lot going on, just wasn't the right time. And then internet is all in their business. Bella is just saying that the internet had nothing to do with it. So we really don't even know what was the problem. Other people are speculating that Jay Cinco just wanted to be single after everything that was going on. When Messi Maj posted that stuff about that boy Jordan stating that he was talking to Bella while she was talking to Jay. Cinco stated that and he knew that him and Bella had already spoke about that before the internet knew. So it was not a problem. And to top it off, his supporters wasn't really supportive of his relationship with him and Bella. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, yeah, man, Um, as you can see by the title, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, is single now you know is yeah, single and i don't like you know like i don't really know i don't know how to feel for real like i don't want to like want to really you know what I'm saying get on here like that you know and i hate that i had to get on here and, you know say this for real but at the end of the day it's not like nobody cheated or anything like i didn't cheat on her she didn't cheat on me she ain't be this lord like it has nothing to do with loyalty it was just a lot you know it's just a lot on my career it was a lot on her you know just on what she has going on and what she's trying to accomplish, it just became a lot, you know, and, you know, me and her are true believers in God, you feel me, we feel like if, if it's meant, <clears throat> it's, it's meant, you know what I'm saying, we, we don't gotta, like, force it, you know, it's just, you know, just sometimes life could get a lot, life could be just life and you feel me, life will, um, life will just take its courses, man, and sometimes be scared to, to take that that time you know like, or separate to figure things out and a lot of us might look at it as bad things you feel me for a long time i was not for a long time but like i was scared to kind of make that decision but i felt like like what well, we were scared to make that decision but i felt like it just you know at the end of the day, it just was best you know at the end of the day we want to just give each other 100 percent and stuff you know i don't really want to go too deep into it you know because it ain't really like you know nobody's business but we could, we could go that way, B. I'm pretty sure. I think it's so bad. You know, just more of the story, I still want to let y'all understand because I don't want niggas to be like, oh, I told you she was this, this, that. I told you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it has nothing to do with disloyalty, bro. It was just, you know, just life, bro. You feel me? It's just life, bro. I truly do feel like she is the one for it.
and I still feel like that, you know. And you know, now I don't know delusion or shit. I just know me and her bond was, you know, that shit is, that shit was different, man. Just being a hundred, you know. But at the end of the day, we just life happens, you know. So I'm in Atlanta once again. A nigga single now, bro. So, hell yeah, you know. But not in a bad way though. It ain't like we ain't, it ain't like you know them bad breakups. It was just like a, you know we love each other and shit, but. You know, we just got to do what's best for our careers, you feel me, as far as like, you know, it's, we young and shit, so it's just like, you know, we staying in touch and shit, but, you know, we just... I mean, I feel that like... Yeah, because I know, we, remember we talked about that shit the other day, like, just like, you know, what niggas got going on in life and shit, you feel me? Yeah. So I was like, man... How do you feel about that? Shit, I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like it was a, I feel like it was a great decision that had to happen. It just, we, none of us really wanted to make that call, you feel me? Like, it was like, a, you know, like, one of the decisions where you like, you know what's best. But you like, you love too, you, y'all niggas love each other too much, y'all don't wanna do that. Yeah. But I feel like, you feel me, I feel like time will tell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, even whether it's two, three months from now, you know, at the end of the day, I know like I'm grateful for her cause she, she not being selfish, you know what I'm saying? Like we yeah. had a conversation and it was like, you know, like, nah, I feel that, you feel me? We both trying to get somewhere in life and this may not be the best time to make, try to make this work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we got stuff and we really got to Time is everything, bro. I feel like, you know, you always pray and I pray a lot every day and shit like that. Right. And if you pray every time and you speak to God, he's gonna speak to you. Yeah, and facts. Like and we, that's one thing we've been praying over this for. Yeah, so I feel like he's gonna put you on the right path and everything happens for a reason. As long as you stay right and you stay focused, and you just, you listen, bro, you're gonna be straight, bro. And I feel like, honestly, bro, you it's time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, respect to herself, but it's your grind time. These are grinders, you're only like 22, right? Yeah. So it's like. Let's get into King. King Kaiser took to Instagram and posted that he's on his way to the championships. And supporters were wondering in the comment section how the hell he was on his way to the championships when this was only his second game. But guys, they had his face on the poster and everything. It's totally a legit thing. He's on his way to the championships. So congratulations to you, Kaiser, because you guys all know that he left his life from America, you know, and went out there to, to chase his dream. And that is an amazing thing to even chase your dream and make it to the championship it is definitely a huge accomplishment. So our applause go out to you, King. Guys, so the fight did happen. King did post and stated that he did win his championship belt. So congratulations to you, King. It is funny because he definitely was fighting an older guy. And I did see a lot of people in the comment section that was stating, I hope your next fight, you know, isn't with an you know, older guy. But you guys have to understand that King is just starting out as well. He is in Thailand and these people have been doing this stuff for years. That is a tradition for them over there so it is going to be a lot of older people in certain fights it honestly doesn't even matter because the most important thing is the fact that he went out there to do it he did it and he won his belt so congratulations to him once again make sure you guys head over there show him some love check out his video or tune into the fight leave your comments down below and you guys let us know what you think the other day I reported that Crystal supporters reached out to me and let me know they didn't receive their package. Now Crystal did take to Twitter and she responded and stated, as a business owner, if I package and ship your order and the postal office didn't successfully hand you your package or someone stole it, I can't do anything about that. Filing a dispute is the only way to solve that issue, unfortunately. Then she added, or should I add an optional insurance fee? I send my orders off in bulk. I'm trying to find a common ground because it can't be she scamming if everybody else got their orders. Someone commented and stated damn she effing up people packages what a clown crystal responded and said girl buy two to three people out of a hundred orders is fine before i even continue <laughs> it is not fine because these people are stating they did not receive any other updated emails letting them know their orders were even shipped out so how can the post office have even made sure they got it or someone stole it when they never even got an email saying that the order was on its way to them so i definitely get it from all points of view i mean as the business owner she is the one dealing with all of the packages and things like that maybe a mishap happened where she probably put the wrong label on it or we never know sometimes those things may go unnoticed but when you receive money from someone it is your due diligence to make sure they get what they paid for we don't know but if people are saying that they did not get their order you should make 
make sure you reach out to them or they reach out to you and you guys try to find a way to get that person their order because they are saying that they never even got an updated email the website is down i don't know comment down below and let me know what y'all think someone else commented and stated try restricted delivery that way whoever name is in the package has to sign for it if not they have to pick it up for insurance purposes you have to prove the item is worth whatever about the insurance is what you request Crystal responded and said thanks for the feedback then she continued on with her life comment down below and let me know what y'all think do you think that it is okay to not receive an updated email nor a package for your order and it not being resolved by the person that you buy it from what would you guys do in this instant comment down below and let me know sometimes when i order things you know you tend to forget but after so many months i would have made sure i went back and reached out to that business or try to figure out a way to resolve it i honestly hate the fact that business owners are always telling you oh just dispute it dispute it it's so disgusting because the fact that i have to go get a new card just because you are failing to give me back my money or give me the item that i paid for is just crazy to me, but, but hey, teach his own.